Article number 11. It is unanimous. I'm sorry. Move that the town transfer from water reserve $60,900 to construct a water line extension on Shattuck Road and associated costs. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motion and seconded. The select board recommends four in favor, one abstention. Finance committee, three in favor. Capital planning, four in favor, one abstention. Selectman Wischkevitz. Uh, this article was put on because of uh, the citizens at the end of Shattuck Road who are now on wells and they're interested in water. Uh, the figure, it's about 800 feet of road to the Sunderland line from where the extension uh, was left off from one of the expansions. And um, this will also uh, have an option of tying in our water to Sunderland if, if they ever need water or if we ever need water at some point. Um, the amount of grant is $61,815 and funding will come out of the water reserve account. There will be no impact on the water rates or taxes. Mr. Moderator. Yes, sir. Richard Wilga, 28 Tomorrow Road. I'd like to provide a brief history of this water line on Shattuck Road. I was part of a, a two-man team who tied it into Cummins Road, the south side of Cummins Road, back in the summer of 63. And it was uh, my, uh, it was paid for by a private contractor who provided not only the first two streets, but they hard surfaced the road. And after that, as it continued north by every, every particular uh, private landowner, it was paid for the water line plus a hard surface of the road uh, up until uh, Mr. Burkeum. Now, he has provided the most uh, lineal footage on this road. Now, he now uh, carried it to what is now Indian Pipe Road, which is the, the line that we speak of now and it's not that far from the Sunderland line. There are four individual houses on the east side of that road uh, be between where it ends now and uh, the Sunderland line. On the west side, it is all very developable land. And I propose that uh, <coughs> this town meeting understands that Mr. Vercum, as soon as he builds that Indian Pipe Road out, he'll be looking forward to buying the property on the other side. And uh, he is not only a persuasive individual, as many people know, he has deep pockets. I suggest that we allow this to happen without spending money, town money, to extend that water line. It will happen eventually anyway. Do not do this. This is a, a poor choice. Thank you. Rich, the original complaint was when the road was being expanded, uh, didn't really uh, address the water line. They just wanted the road fixed, stone and oil it to the end. And when we had gotten thinking about it, uh, the stone and oil, with the maintenance we're doing to the dirt part of the road right now, dollar figure wise, was approximately uh, yeah, we're we're at forty five thousand um, dollars for the stone and oiling or or the paving. Uh, after doing some more research on it, we were at approximately $25,000 for the water line. Uh, we were at $2,500 for surveying. We were at approximately $5,000 for the tree removal and the preparation of the road. 
and about $4,400 for the engineering of that last 800 feet. Um, with the total construction costs at uh, $122,215, which uh, this is just a portion of the grant money that we'll be receiving, I believe, right, Mr. Nixon? If I may. John, this is a problem that will address itself over time. We need to, at this time, table this article and it will take care of itself. For the discussion. Susan Moran, North Lane. Um, what is the grant money you're talking about and can the grant money be used for anything else? Uh, in the springtime, uh, the town, uh, however, started receiving some complaints about well, well water is running out, uh, poor condition of the dirt road, uh, that 800 stretch, uh, feet stretch from the uh, Sunderland town line down to where the pavement begins. Uh, and uh, we started kicking around the idea of, uh, you know, how can we address this? Can we address this? And the, the very first thing that we found out is, is that there was uh, grant money available uh, for small towns with populations of fewer than $7,500, uh, 7,500 people. Um, so we, we looked into this, we've applied to these grants before, it's called Ma Mass uh, Works Infrastructure Grants. We actually tried to get two years ago the um, uh, sewer pump stations one and four paid for 100% by these grants. So we wrote a grant for those uh, two sewer pump stations for the $1.4 million that Mr. Morin talked about. No, not only did we not get the grant, but we were ranked dead last of all the applicants in the Commonwealth. And there were two reasons for that. One, we were asking for way too much money under the program. And the other is, is that we weren't kicking in any money of our own. And so we, we thought, here's maybe a project that would get us going into this grant cycle that could benefit the neighborhood up there, uh, that could provide the water to not only the residents that live there, but also add an, an additional emergency water uh, connection to an intermunicipal connection with the town. We have two of them with the town of Amherst. We don't have any with any other town. Should we be in an emergency situation, knock on wood, that it doesn't occur, where we need water and Amherst is not able to provide for us, can we pray, take it from uh, another town? This would provide us with a connection. Uh, that uh, could potentially be used there. So the grant is for $61,000. Our match would be the, uh, the, the amount that's in front of you, the $60,900. Um, the costs that we're asking for from the town are ineligible for under the grant programming. So that everything that we could pack into the grant we did and everything else that isn't going to be covered by the the, the, the grant we've, we've decided to go to water reserves to see if we can't provide for it that way. So that's the project, uh, that's the terms of the grant, uh, and we've submitted the application after a public hearing which we held both with the town of Sunderland and the Sunderland Water District and the residents of the road. Everybody at the public hearing which was advertised uh, were in favor, completely in favor of the project. So we ask for your support. Again, this, this funding is just from the water reserves. We, we already have this money in our water accounts. It's an expansion of our water infrastructure system is what we're looking at. And there is no impact on the water rates or the taxes. You can, uh, unless you come up to the Mr. moderator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I feel that uh, the water rate users should not subsidize four individual uh, house lots there. That's basically, they knew it was a dirt road with no water on it when they bought it, and those particular lots, and it was done quite some time ago. And therefore, uh, if we do in, uh, extend, if for some reason this passes, I certainly hope that uh, their assessed value will increase dramatically. Okay. 
Maureen Jock, 20 Knightley Road. I make a motion we move the vote. Is there a second? All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Yes, it passes. The, the motion did not pass. The it moved past. It was four. It was 104, nine against. So we will now vote on the motion. Okay. Please accept my apologies. I understand your concern. <laughs> so, would anybody like the motion read again? Okay. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? I'm going to need counters, please. I need four counters, please. This is a simple majority, and from up here, that was a very close looking vote. These two gentlemen here are going to count the aisle here and the aisle here. These two gentlemen are going to count the back aisle, this aisle here, and the front. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your cards and please keep them up. Okay, you can put them down. Guys, wait a minute. Guys. Oh, you're going to the, okay, yes. <coughs> Mr. Moderator, we have 37. I, I concur. Ms. Moderator, we count 18. I concur. Okay. Exact same direction. All those against the motion, please signify by raising your cards. Please again, left column, center column, make sure they're up nice and high, please. Moderator, we have 16 votes. 16. Ms. Moderator, we have 30 votes. I concur. Motion passes 55-4, 46 against.